I thought we agreed you wouldn't show up at my office. I am not comfortable with this. She just left, by the way. Hey, you probably passed her on the way in. She would have seen you. I'm a ghost, Dr. Zelenka. People do not see me unless I let them. What have you learned? Well, she wants to remember. And will she? I don't know. Eventually, probably. You know what to do if she does. You've made that very clear. What else would you like to tell me today? She's not sleeping well. It's her dreams. She used the words vivid and lucid. Of what she wouldn't say. I get the feeling she's not being forthcoming. She lies to you. No more uh, uh, omitting the truth. We pay you a great deal of money to make sure Ms. Castillo has no secrets. Uh -uh. I'll, I'll push. Next time. In your professional opinion, is she starting to remember? I don't think so. Not yet. That is all. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, how much longer will I need to do this? Without us, you would have nothing. Do you not want it to continue? Uh, I... Until she remembers. Until then. And if that never happens? Then we terminate. Good day to you, Dr. Zelenka. I'm assuming he doesn't mean terminate the therapy sessions. I just paid the doctor a visit. He tells me she has her mindset on remembering what occurred last year. I guess that pops up when it's an effect from a decision I've made. Yes, Zelenka does believe she will remember in time. There's another thing we just learned. She has vivid dreams, as you said she would. She would not tell the doctor anything about her dreams. She may be keeping secrets from him. If this is the case, he may be outlasting his use. Oh no! What have I done? Sehr gut, Fräulein. I will contact you immediately if I hear anything else. I have ears in all places. The moment she remembers, we will know. D d d am, I, am I getting him killed? Have I just gotten the doctor killed? Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I was with my therapist when you called earlier. Hey, Sissy. Uh, no worries. Can we meet? I'm not working today, so absolutely. Should I come by the campaign office? Let's meet somewhere else. I'm by the river, right next to the memorial fountain in Prista Viste. Uh, uh, yeah? Sh sure. W when? Now? Uh, whenever you're available. I'll be there. All right. I I'll see you soon. Okay, that, that, that worries me. So we can check in with Reza. we got to find Hannah. Meet Baruti. So I know where that is. So I might go there first. Although I think that might be... Uh, I can't even remember his name. Oh no, we can't go this way because it's blocked off, isn't it? I don't know. What? I thought it was blocked off. I must be getting confused. I am lost, I think. Oh no, it's down here. I'm really confused. I oh I thought actually yeah, and then it's the the hand that the hand that feeds just through around there. You can go to as well. Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming, Sissy. Of course. Well, what's up? I found something. A uh, discrepancy pointing to our campaign, to unity, to Lea Uminska. What sort of discrepancy? This is why I wanted to meet you outside. I don't know if they have the office under surveillance, if they're monitoring my iris or my wire access. Seriously? What's going on? I don't know yet, but I need to find out. My contact at Pokama Mesa came across transactions between the Syndicate and Unity. There's money 
being funneled into our campaign from places money shouldn't be coming from. Mm -hmm. Corporate money. It could be just a, a, a misunderstanding. There might be a good explanation for it, but it could also be serious. It could be serious. So I need to dig deeper. The trouble is, I don't know if they're watching me. I, I can't risk it. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't important, Sissi. Look, if Leia Uminska is taking bribes, or worse, mm. I want to know. So, what is it you need me to do? Access Unity servers and download the data. How exactly am I going to do that? Just log in with my iris and wire ID? The eye would be onto you in minutes, Sissi. No. You'll need a rogue data sniffer and a government-grade black mask protocol. And you'll need to use multiple accounts and access points to transfer all the data. Stay logged in for too long in one location. They could pin you down. Look, I completely understand if you say no. It is illegal. And it can get us both into a lot of trouble. I don't have all the information yet. Where did Baruti learn about this? Why was he digging into the campaign finances? I do have reservations, but I don't want to work for a crooked campaign. If something's going on, we need to find out. Mm -hmm. I understand why this is important, but I'm worried about the repercussions. I got in trouble the last time I tried to uncover a corporate conspiracy. I don't want to end up in another syndicate interrogation room. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, sorry. I think we're going to ask the questions first. Yet. Seems to be a question. How did you come across this information? My contact at Wakamba Mesa has access to syndicate data streams. I asked him to keep an eye out for certain keywords and names. Why? It's a bit ironic in hindsight, but I've been looking for any piece of dirt I could find on Konstantin Wolf and European Dawn. Last week, my contact got in touch. He'd found something odd. Large donations to a political non-profit in Europolis. I told him to put a trace on it. Yesterday, he messaged me again to tell me he was out. He discovered a link, but it wasn't what any of us expected. There were records of a series of encrypted transactions between the Syndicate and Unity. And Uminsk. My contact was worried about the implications. He wanted nothing to do with it, which is understandable. He did provide me with enough information to get started. Network addresses, logins. If we can grab the data, I can analyze it. Find the evidence I need to, to, to do whatever comes next. Hopefully, evidence of no wrongdoing. Maybe someone's trying to falsely implicate Unity. It wouldn't be the first time. Mm. I can't believe Uminska would take corporate payoffs. I mean, not her. I trusted her completely. She's a politician. Uh, I think we have to do it then. I mean, because otherwise he might get in trouble. Because we... It, mm, mm, I do have reservations. I'll do it. Where do I begin? Before he jumped ship, my contact made an anonymous drop with all the information we need. I can't risk transmitting it to you, even locally, in case they're monitoring my iris. I've put everything on this crypto coin. Wire addresses, shadow accounts... Use this to transfer the data back to me after you're done. Now, before you get started, you'll need a rogue data sniffer and a black mask protocol. You know Mira at the Pandemonium? They're located in the bricks. She trades in grey market merchandise. Mira, Pandemonium. While you're acquiring the data, I'll go to the office to join a remote campaign meeting. If they're somehow alerted to the intrusion, I'll have an alibi. We'll have time to pull out and cover our tracks. Cover our tracks? Oh, Jesus, this is really happening. <laughs> it's happening. I'll contact you later and let you know where to meet me. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'll do my best. I just had a worrying thought that maybe this is a setup by someone to get us. See if we can talk to anyone in here. Oh, this is gonna be really awkward though, isn't it, with Reza? Let's go in and talk. What could possibly go wrong? It could be really awkward. 
That's what could go wrong. Hey, Sully. Zoe, please tell me you're here to reclaim your man. He's driving me up walls. Sully. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He pines and fills my apartment with misery, but I understand. It's no walk in the park being married to a newsman. <laughs> we weren't exactly married. Yeah, I'm stepping in bulk today, aren't I? Ach, no more tasteless jokes. I shall be as solemn as the moment requires. So, dear girl, is this a social call or a professional one? Just saying hello? It's my day off, and I was in the neighborhood. A social call? Those are my favorite calls. I'm glad you took the time to see me today. How are you, Fistic? Well, you know, things could be better, but I'm... I'm not sure this is the time or the place, Sully. How about you and I grab two large beers tonight and commiserate? Oh, tonight's no good. Maybe tomorrow, and make that beer extra, extra large? Perfect. And how's work? Ada's gone this week, so, yeah, quiet. I'm back in the lab tomorrow, though. There's science to be done. How about you? Well, the world's falling apart around us, and we're quite possibly facing an armed curfew in a few days, so I'm fantastic. You know, the more people stay inside, the more time they have on their hands, the more they need us to provide them with news. To tell the truth, I'd prefer slightly less drama and slightly fewer battle suits in the streets, but the cynical newsman in me rejoices. No news like bad news. I thought you were all cynical newsmen. Age has a way of smoothing the sharp edges, my dear. But I am honestly concerned. I don't fully understand what's happening. The Syndicate's reasons are unclear, the government's gone into full communication lockdown, and no one's talking. It's a dangerous mess. Elections do bring out the worst in people. You think the eye's increasing security because of the elections? I... do not. Something else is afoot. They want the people to stay indoors. They want everyone logged into dream time. They want no eyes on the street. And this does worry me. Look, I have my worried face on. It's a very worried face. Anyway, I'm off. So, beer tomorrow? No, extra, extra large beers. Okay, let's... Mm -hmm. I apologize for being so testy the other day. I, I was under a lot of pressure, but that's over now. No longer working on that story, thank Manu. It was really getting to me. Okay. This is gonna be awkward. Hey there. Oh, hey. Busy? No. Well, I, I mean, uh, yes. B very, but not, not, not right now. So, is oh. Sully going crazy yet, having you in his space? <laughs> not yet. How are things here? Any inside information on our burgeoning police state? I wish. Everyone wants answers. Why have the Syndicate sent in the big guns? Why isn't the government saying anything? It's a mess. One of those exosuits got in my face this morning, asked me where I was going. I thought about not answering, but I chickened out. Probably a good idea. Call me a coward, but I didn't want to argue with someone carrying an assault rifle. We really thought the clampdown would be a temporary thing, a, a, a show of force, but... I heard rumors about a curfew. Well, it's possible. I mean, why else would they send in Robocop? Robocop? The exosuits. Outside of active war zones, I've never seen so many of them in one place. And we're in Propass, not Washington, D.C. So, yeah, we're still trying to get to the bottom of it. But this thing goes deep. If anyone can, it'll be you guys. So, uh... No, don't. We need to talk. We do. I mean, it's been a week. We need to figure out where this is going. Okay. We do. Yeah. Um, so... See? Awkward. Oh, about dinner. <gasps> um... I'm gonna assume he just means we eat together while talking in a totally non datey way. Does he mean a date? We're not ready for that. It's only been a week. I need more time to think. Um, we're gonna say... Does he mean a date? No. I'm not sure a date is the best... No, no, no. I, uh, I meant uh, pick up some dinner and then go back home. Uh, uh, back, back to the apartment. 
to talk. While, while we eat. Dinner. Right. Yes. That sounds like a plan. I'll just pick up something on my way home. Something inoffensive. Oh, come on. Is that really necessary? Can't you just... just leave it be? Sometimes I feel you're not particularly open to new things. I don't even get you anything different for lunch because I don't know how you'll react. Like last week when I bought you cheese soup. Cheese soup. I chose the same thing you always get even when there was something new and interesting on the menu. No, that's... Are you seriously blaming me for a choice you made? I know what your reaction would have been. I got the soup because that's what you always have. If I picked the pork sausages... You didn't even give me the choice, Zoe. You chose for me and you're upset about that. And this is not the first time. If you're so unhappy with who I am, then why... Why what? Oh, forget it. This is neither the time nor the place. We'll talk later. Yeah, later. Look, I need to run. Message me, okay? We'll figure out dinner. Fine. To be fair, if someone feels like their choices are being constrained by someone else, they, they are going to feel frustrated by that. Even if the other person is not uh, constraining their choices either deliberately or consciously. I mean, to be fair, Zoe should have contacted him and been like, Hey, I know we, I know you normally have cheese soup, but there's pork sausages on option. Uh, right, we've got bricks. Oh, we need to find Hannah. Hannah with pink hair. Seized. So it's short pink hair by a dragonfly. Wow, she runs really well. Oh no. No! A sewer level! The girl used the hatch to go underground. No! It's a notch on the side. Ooh, puzzle. Weird. The vent that girl disappeared through was connected to one of those, um, mystery tower things. Those towers are all over Propast. Are there vents below all of them? Maybe Crowboy can give me a layout of all the towers in Propast. Mercy. So there. Go, 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 go. 